guys. Um, welcome. If you don't know me, my name is Rosie and I go by Rosie Castro on IG. Um, I kind of wanted to do a video um, to just show you what I do um, to keep myself sane. Um, right now, there's a lot of things that are going on, unfortunately, in this world. Um, and I kind of just want to inspire you. And if you don't get inspired, that's okay. Um, I'm just so grateful that you're even tuning in. Um, so keep watching. First and foremost, um, I want to give out my heart to everyone period, to the world, but most importantly, COVID-19, people that have lost their jobs, people that has lost a family member, friends, like, I literally pray for you every day, I pray for you mentally, physically, emotionally, because at this time, I just feel like the world is just, and I, when I speak about the world, I speak about, like, your insides, like, I feel like right now is the moment to actually, like, look deep down inside yourself. Um, because there's just so many things that are going on and I literally pray that you are okay um, whether again I know you or not um, and also with Black Lives Matters like it's so crazy but in my mind I believe that there's going to be a change because this generation is literally pushing forward and they want to be heard they want to be seen and I think that little by little this this is this is real, and I believe that only the best is going to come, and I think that everyone that are protesting, like, I'm so proud of you, like, that's a huge thing, and and I'm so grateful for that, um, and I just really pray for everyone's and their safety, and, and I just hope that at the end of the day, we can come out strong and together um, for all of this, so that's something that is in my heart, and um, I would love to, you know, spread that love to you guys. Um, it's really important. Foremost, before anything and everything, I literally wake up and I just thank God for another day. Um, I pray that maybe you have a higher being um, and that you just literally count your blessings. The minute you wake up, thank you God for this roof. Thank you God for this bed. Thank you God for this this clean water that we have, um, which is so important to at least name three things that you're so grateful for. I feel like it's so important. I feel like you should do this the minute you wake up, the minute you open your eyes, because to be honest with you, a lot of us are not lucky to open our eyes once, you know, the next day. So I feel like it's so important to do so. Um, even throughout your day, sometimes I do it before I go to bed as well. Um, I thank, you know, God for for whatever happened that day, whether I laughed so much that I couldn't even breathe, whether um, just the food on my table, um, house over my roof, the people around me um, that make me just so happy, you know, it's important to do that as well at nighttime. So I believe that's your first step to always feel good about yourself and take care of yourself is to just thank God and also just be grateful and mindful of what you actually have and not worry about what you don't have. I think that's so, so important. Um, so that's my step one. So living here in New York City has been um, very challenging where you you don't even want to wake up early, but you have to because the train is about to leave and you have to be there at a certain time because then you're going to be late to work, such and such forth. But I'm trying to go back to the habit of actually waking up 30 minutes earlier if I'm lucky and I'm praying for, for this to happen, but like at least an hour earlier than I should be waking up so I can actually um, either meditate, do some yoga, or just read. Um, I'm a huge reader. I've always been a bookworm since I've been, you know, young, not small and tiny, but um, I'm huge on reading books and I actually want to go back to, you know, reading the Bible. That's just my preference. 
Um, I do have, you know, two sets of, of Bibles that I, that I do read during the morning. Um, and it's just my Bible. And I love it. It has its tabs. And I can actually write notes on the side. Then I have this book. It's a little bit dirty because it was in my purse, but please bear with me. Um, this book actually, um, anything that you're going through in life, let's say it says here what to do when you're frantic and stressed, it will give me all of the Bible verses that actually speak about stress and how to overcome it. And it says a lot, um, heartbreaks, uh, what to do when you feel depressed, what to do when you feel discouraged, um, just to name a few. But if you don't read the Bible, um, I, you know, suggest you to at least read anything that can motivate you throughout the day. Um, I also, what I love to do is listen to music in the morning, but I'm not talking about like Chris Brown music or no, I actually love to listen to like soft tone music to set up my day. I literally listen to worship music, um, to Hillsong, to Elevation, to even Boo Church. Um, I like to just have a peaceful moment where I can speak to God himself or I can just kind of just meditate and um, yeah, so I can literally start my day. I think that it's just so important, so important. So now that we got uh, mentally, you know, out of the way where we read in the morning or you do yoga or you just meditate or you're just you just name three things that you're so grateful for um the next step is just physically like I feel like if you don't feel pretty or anything I feel like it really affects your mind a lot of people are like oh but you know appearances don't matter but it it, it shouldn't matter to anybody it's just how you feel about yourself I think it's just so important um so if you want your face to be clear um, I've always struggled with like with like acne when I was younger um, and also once I get a lot of anxiety I start like breaking out right here all around my eyebrows and it's like a red rash so I always try to like take care of my skin as much as I can um, and also before before I turned 30 I was I was fine I was like ah, I'll be fine you know whatever but now that I turned 30 I've, I've gone like crazy I'm like googling what is the best thing for this for that um under my eye circles like the whole nine i think turning 30 has really opened my eyes um you know it just literally has opened my mind so my eyes so i think it's so important to like take care of your skin and take care of every part of you remember your body is your temple so it's really important to always take care of it um i believe that's why it's so huge to like really you know take care of your body at the end of the day you only have one body and you should take care of it. So what I mostly do is I do my skincare in the mornings and I do my skincare in the night. I've been like going crazy looking through products. So I literally carry this big bag and I take it with me to the bathroom um, just because it's just easy access. But um, literally all the stuff, and even my roller. And I feel like it's just so important to take care of the skin. Um, but besides that, of course, is always drinking your water. I think drinking water is like number one. Your body needs to have water inside of you. I used to hate water so bad. I would never drink water. Like, because I was always a juice girl or, I, but now this is the only thing that I drink. And I think I'm just so grateful um, that I just drink this because everything else is just so bad for you. And of course, last but not least, please take your vitamins. I think it's so important. I've gone again through, through trying to find vitamins, which ones are the best ones for me. Um, of course, I'm getting older, so I want to be more you know, active in what I'm putting into my body. So that's really important. Please, please take care of yourself physically. It's such, it's so, it's even more important than actually mentally. So that's important. Last but not least, what I think it's so important of taking care of yourself, 
when we're going through such a pandemic and you know we have to take care of ourselves again mentally physically emotionally um i believe that energy that you bring around you is so important so important it's even more important than anything else um i believe that energy just someone next to you is just even your partner even your you know your relationship with your friends or whatever the case may be i feel like it's just so important to please your body is your temple please acknowledge as to your surroundings um energy does transfer to you as in like let's say if someone is having a bad mood then you're gonna have a bad mood too and you just don't want to live that way um so i really really encourage you to be around people that make you happy that make you feel safe that make you feel um excited that make you feel excited about the future that make you feel um loving caring respected um i think that that's just so important and if anyone anyone whether it's your old friends or whatever the case may be if they don't give you that love or that care or whatever the case may be just cut them off there's no point to be friends with these people or whatever the case may be um so please protect your energy um protect your surroundings it's just so important to have only good feelings so very important um and that's it those are my three tops things of what i do to try to take care of myself within this crazy time that we're going through um of course just mentally taking care of myself physically taking care of myself and just emotionally in um having certain people in my life and i just hope that that inspires you um and just know that i'm pray for you um and know that i pray that you're okay and i pray that you are fine um and if you aren't just know that everything will be okay and also that even if you're going down just know that you're always going to go up because there's no other way to go so just be patient please be kind and um the best is yet to come and um thank you for stopping by this is my first time so i hope you like it um i'm a very awkward person when it comes to videos but here we are um i just wanted to really share that with you so be safe guys hugs and kisses more